All right, so this is Jesse Ward. I'm going to show you how to do some batch scripting with um, fireworks. So if you have a bunch of images or things you want to actually export, um, some of this will allow you to do it inside of fireworks. However, there are a significant amount of uh, functions that fireworks actually supports that are not accessible through the IDE. So you just write some code and get it to work. So you'll notice I've got uh, export JSFF open. It's actually called a JSF file or JavaScript for fireworks. And here I get a reference to the doc. And here I go fireworks export Swift, the document and the file path for reverting, which is basically when you uh, run the batch script, it'll actually use that variable. So this is all you need to get it to work. Uh, that's it. You just save this file somewhere. So I'm going to save this on my desktop. And I'm going to call it uh, export Swift, OK? So I'm going to go in here. You'll notice I've got a folder on my desktop with three GIFs, right? A dancing GIF, a man clapping, and a bunch of guys hugging, right? So three GIFs. I don't want to have to open each manually in Fireworks. All right, to get this to work with that script, you have to make this script actually work with a command. A command is basically a JSFF file that runs in here. So you can run a script manually, right? So you can either save the actions, very similar to how you do it in Photoshop, where you do a bunch of stuff that you, you record and then play it back. Or you can simply drop this script inside of the commands folder, and it'll be able to run. So if you want to edit your own commands, so here's a quick and dirty way to do it. You go to Applications, you go actually inside of Fireworks, go to Configuration and Commands. You'll see a bunch of all kinds of stuff in here. So we're going to take our command that we just made, the Experts JFF, paste it in there. Then we're going to go to Commands. Just older Fireworks might have to restart Fireworks, but for us, not so much. So I'm going to go to File Batch, and again, this goes all the way back to Flash uh, Fireworks CS2, I think. Take all the GIFs, choose the command that you want to do, in this case, export Swift, add, hit next. I don't need backups, thanks. OK, great. Same location as the uh, original file, say batch. So it'll take each one of those animated GIFs and export out of Swift. all in the exact same folder. When it's done, say OK. Let's go check out what it created on the desktop. Let's see what it created. I'm open this in just uh, one of the Flash players. OK, there's a Swift there. Open with uh, 11.2. There's a Swift there. There's a Swift there. So you can see, it's as simple as that. So again, take script, use some text editor, Sublime, TextMate, text edit, whatever. You're going to write these two lines of code. var doc equals fw get document dom. Then fw dot export Swift, parentheses the doc, comma, the doc file pass for revert. That's it. Okay? Then, Drop it in your Fireworks command folder, which is Applications, Fireworks, Configuration, Commands, 
drop it in here. You may have to restart older versions of Fireworks. On Windows, I believe it's the same thing. It's just in Documents and Settings for your user. Okay, so whatever you're logged in as. And then you go to File Batch, Batch Process, choose your files, and then choose the command. In this case, Export Swift, which is towards the bottom. Save Batch, and that's it. Next in Batch. Okay? Hope that helps.